Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Lego Harry Potter years one through four. In the last episode, we got started with our overworld Hogwarts free play adventure. We still have quite a lot to go, but we did jump up quite a lot in percentage last episode, all the way up to 66.9% by buying all the characters we had previously unlocked but not purchased, and all of the red bricks, which are only five out of 20. We still have so much more left to find, so let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so last episode we were here in the class hall and we got all the different classrooms done pretty well. I wanted to head to the left this time and sort of just keep going this way as far as we could, but we could also go up here. But I, I think that like this way there was another hallway with another set of classrooms. So I feel like it'd be pretty good to just sort of go through here and start picking things off as much as we can and just sort of see how it goes. So this is the Lumos classroom and honestly, I don't know if there's too much more. These students have been sitting here waiting for us to come back for years. <laughs> we went to Lumos in first year. They've just been chilling out here ever since. Um, I don't know if there's too much we can do, like this lady's snoring and everything, but like I don't know if there's really too much we can do in this room, and that's what I'm just trying to find out right now, if there is. Um, because I know we've already learned Lumos. Flitwick has been sitting here for years, the poor guy. Um, ah, he's, he's zapping me back, he doesn't like that I zapped him. Ooh, there is something. So we need Grip Hook for that. I remember there's a blue set up that way, and it looks like there might be a couple things over there as well. So I'm gonna start figuring that out. Whoa, whipping that around real fast. Whoop. And then let's just get this. About here should be good enough. I know it's not perfect, but it's all I really need to know. So yeah, there's quite a lot to do around here. It's just about, oh yeah, I see what the fast magic does now. We got that the end of the last episode. That's what it does, is it makes things go around really fast in a ridiculous degree. So a lot of this stuff, of course, we've already done. Oh, we have to take out these spines. They turn into candles, that's weird. But if that's what we gotta do, that's exactly what we'll do. Um, I'm not seeing too much more we can do around this way, but let's look for more of those spine candles because I missed these two at the entrance, one, two. And as you can see, that's gonna get us a character up that way. So if I just leave now, go and get the Polyjuice Potion and come back with Grip Hook, that would be perfect. I'm gonna go back over here, just really quick. Boom, and that is girl, unlocked. Wow. <laughs> Not even like wizard girl or Hogwarts girl, it's just girl. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna get two characters with the Polyjuice Potion. We're gonna get Snape, because it's inevitable that we're gonna run into a dark magic thing again, and we're gonna get Grip Hook. And we're gonna keep her mining, because she's the one with Crookshanks, which is very helpful. So Harry, I'm gonna have you turn into Snape. Probably the person you'd want to turn into the least, but here you are. And then run. Like I said, yeah, turn into Grip Hook. Which is where there are so many characters just blinking at me. Uh, right over this way, here's Grip Hook. Very cool. There's so many characters in this game. Very cool. I mean, I know a lot of them are just like reskins of Harry, but I think they're all in the same slot, luckily, so it doesn't really matter too much. Anyways, we're gonna run way back over here and we're gonna figure this out. So, go back into this classroom and check out what's going on with this specifically. I gotta hold the button, I thought I had to tap it. I'm used to newer Lego games where they make you tap the button all the time. What's down here? Oh, this is like a whole new area. Whoa! Whoa, -ho -ho! look at this, it's some kind of weird like labyrinth. That is so cool. And it looks like there's a lot going on here. So first off, Snape, do your magical stuff wherever you can. Oh, there's even a spider web. Can I bounce off of that? Yes, I can. And what about this? Yeah, that moves super quick now because we have fast magic enabled. I'm so glad we have that. That is so useful. I can get rid of you. You'll give me some studs. Yeah, we need to climb back in studs because we spent a lot of them last episode getting all the characters unlocked and everything, at least all the characters we currently had uh, found. So hopefully we find lots more characters in today's episode. That'll be fun. We've already found one more character and that got us 2.2% more. So shows you how uh, much we need to find in each episode to really make that much of a dent. And that's what I'm determined to do. Okay, can you not do that? Whoa, that is funny. It just sort of launches us in a ridiculous way. So I guess we gotta be careful the grates. Oh, this is odd. It's it's really hard to t tell. Yeah. Okay, I got it. And then Snape, come on. No, buddy, buddy, buddy. Come on, Hermione. You can do better than Snape, can't you? Oh, is this a... Uh... Yes, it is. Let's do ridiculous. That's it. And that was good. 
I'm glad we get ourselves another hidden character. This is Professor Flawick. All righty, cool. Anything I can do with this spider web? Oh my. What are these things? Oh, they're like cats. Sort of, they sort of look like cats. So just more obstacles to dodge. We'll figure that out in just a moment. Just gotta get rid of that mushroom first. So I just gotta time myself well. As soon as they retract, we gotta run over. That's it, that's it. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, maybe. <laughs> I do wanna hop down there for that student in peril, but then I can't get back up, can I? Oh, I have to get back up, maybe from over here. Okay, I think I might actually be able to cheat and use that little mole that was there, so I might end up trying to do that. We'll see in just a moment. Um, but I do have a purple stud and the student in peril. There's many of these to get, so it's good to get another one. How much percentage will you give me? Eh. Hey. Hopefully something good. Um. Uh, 67.0, so he gave me literally 1%, I think. I know, 0.1%. And there's still old, uh, 13 more of those to find? No, no, 23 more of those to find, sorry. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of work. There is a lot more to do in here as well. Like, let's Lumos this barrel. I can hop inside if I needed to. I don't know if popping the barrels has actually given any practical purpose so far in the game, so it's just sort of weird that they're available so many different places. I do see this over here, and oh, that's a gold brick. I just have to get the other one. He's like, no, my claw. I mean, my chain, my duty as a claw has been ruined, and now we just gotta get that one. So let's switch over to Snape over that way, because he can just do it for us. Wait, hold on, there we go. Boom, and a golden brick for us. I'm sort of curious to see like what each type of item gives us percentage-wise. So let's see how much percentage a golden brick gives us. Part 67, we get that. It's our 122nd golden brick. And that will be, we're at 67. Now we are at 67.2, so it gives 0.2%. And there's more to do. Oh, I can't do this without Harry. That's sort of a pain, because it's like there's only so much I can switch to. You know, I'm gonna have to go back and switch characters again. Sort of a pain. Wait, what happened here? I thought I just did this. Uh, Maybe I can't do anything here until, I don't know, that's weird. I'm gonna have to come back here as Harry, though. In the meantime, I can go into this room, and that's gonna bring me back up right to where we started. Okay, so I know what to do now. We need to just, we don't need grip hook anymore. I don't know if there's gonna be any other areas with keys, but I feel like that's sort of a situational thing where we just have to tackle it when it happens. For now, I'm gonna go back, get Harry instead of grip hook, and hop back in there. So what was silly is I had to walk all the way over, realize that grip hook was in there so we couldn't reactivate the tunnel, and I had to run all the way back again, just so that Harry could talk to the darn snake. It's just like, this is where definitely this kind of setup is flawed. Luckily I kept Snape, because it's a dark magic thing, or I would've had to walk all the way back and all the way back here again. It, it just, why does it have to be so silly, you know? Why? Um, but there's that. I can give this to you, it's some kind of red brick. Of course. It is a character token detector. Ooh, that sounds nice. And can I do this? Like, what's going on with this? It's just like, it's another barrel. I don't know if I need a barrel. Like, I, I know I did this at some point, but like, it's just, it's weird. Maybe it's something with this barrel. I need to get over there with this barrel. I don't think it's gonna do anything. <laughs> but I might as well find out. Cause I, like, I did something of this and I didn't really see what was going on. This is doing nothing. Okay, well, I tried. I don't think that's anything. I can only hope it's nothing that I haven't already gotten. And we can move on to the next room. Cause I, 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 that was just ridiculous. So yeah, uh, are there floating books right now? Yeah, there's just some floating stuff over there. That's weird. Um, I'm just gonna ignore it. And we're gonna do the reducto on, oh no, actually, is this the Gryffindor sword? That was weird. <laughs> oh, use it to draw like, a silly face on him. And who's this? Oh, you need this ball, don't you? There we go. And that's a student in peril. I mean, I don't I want to call that peril, but all right. Well, I'm glad I can help. Where is he trying to go? He ran right into the wall. He's something else, that's for sure. Uh, that just gave me a bunch of studs, which once again is cool, but not what I was looking for. What's inside of this room? This is the Wingardium Leviosa room. We haven't been in here in a couple of years. All right, we'll check things out as much as we possibly can as per usual. I'll move that stuff. Oh, it is so nice when this stuff just whoop, whoop, and it's Flitwick again. Hey, buddy. 
I don't see too much going on. I do see one of these little things. I just have to try a little bit of everything to figure out what's going on. I do see this thing that we can do Reducto on. Is that another mystery room of doom I'm calling them at this point? Because there's always gonna be a chance I'm gonna have to go all the way back out and then find our way back in. Luckily this one will be easier to get in because basically any character we need is gonna have Reducto. Oh, I see, that's another thing. So let's try to get up there. I mean, I guess I don't really need it, but Harry is actually willing to help. That's great, thank you, Harry. Oh gosh, <laughs> I was trying to sort of cheat my way up there, but I guess I'll do it the real way. Uh, which is to say, whoop, I don't really, that's not where I wanted to put that, and you know it. Um, okay, good enough. <laughs> I don't really need the purple stud. I think I'm gonna leave it. Anything of interest up here? Can I hit this picture? Nope, I can do that. Just trying to find the things I need to do for this room. I do have a bunch of these I can mess with. I can mess with them again, and again, and again. Oh, that got me something, oh cool. That got me, boy. <laughs> of course, the epic duo of girl and boy. What about these spine things again? Nope, nothing this time. Had to make sure. Anything else around here then? Could be at this, this I thought I was beating up the chandelier. I'm beating up these banners, not too much. So we are good just to hop down this way then. Really nothing more of interest. Gotcha. That's good, that means we've just gotten everything. So we'll test everything out, like the spider web. Maybe somebody can raise this bench while we're on it. Maybe not. Oh, no, I can do it myself. Never mind, guys. Oh, I can keep wiggling this, it'll turn the lamps on. That did nothing, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but there is a red brick to get, and oh my gosh, we need Hermione. See, I really don't like how it does that, because I just gotta constantly leave and come back, and leave and come back over and over again, so it really puts a damper on the productivity in a not fun way. I'm glad they never did any other Lego game like this. I mean, I don't know if they've done years five through seven like this with the cauldron and stuff. I really hope they didn't, but you never know. So what's going on here? Oh, there's a dragon and he's missing the top of his head. That's gruesome. Don't worry, we can help. I don't know if it's a good idea to help, but we're helping. I mean, it might be a dragon statue. No, that's a real dragon. What do we get for it? We get, ooh, Mad-Eye Moody. That's cool. Now what's going on here? Can I, whoa! What is happening? That would, I don't know. What? <laughs> what was that about? I am not sure. Okay. That was weird. Um, this game is very odd. Oh, there's the student in peril and some spider web. We'll save him once we get into a good angle to actually hit him. There we go. I got you, buddy. Don't you worry. Bum, ba, ba, ba. We get another student in peril. Good to see that. And we can make this plant grow a bunch. But most importantly, we can move back to Snape. Do the dark magic on this one sphere, and inside is another red brick. How cool is that? So I'm gonna march back over here. Where are you, little bird? And then I gotta go back and grab Hermione and get back over. Oh, I guess that's how I get out of this area, is with the dragon. All right, well, thank you. That got me extra hearts unlocked. That's at least something, because neither of these characters have books. So neither of them can do this. All right, well, Dragon, if you could help me get out of here again. There you go, he just sort of flips you upwards. Whoa, and that got us a golden brick. I didn't even see one up there, but that was 125. That's not what I wanted, but um, I didn't see that before, so I'm glad I got it this time. Can we try that a third time? Thank you. No, we can't. What, are we stuck now? Oh, I'm like seriously stuck. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what is going on? Why is it so broken? Come on, try more time, ready? Oop. Please work this time. Okay, move it, move it, move it. There we go, safety. I gotta go back though and get Hermione over grip hook this time and hopefully it gets us somewhere worthwhile. Okay, so let's do this. Looks pretty simple. I just gotta do a little bit of that. And it was just for a bunch of studs, you're kidding me. All of that work for just like a good chunk of studs, yeah, but not what I was hoping for, I gotta be honest. I'm a bit disappointed by that. Anyways, can you please, yeah, don't let me fall back down there. That should be everything done in this hallway. Let's find out. 
Yep. So now that we're done with this hallway, the, the other part of the class lobby, I guess this was still part of the class lobby. Sorry, I didn't do it before then. But I feel like that's really it for the class lobby. If we go to the left, it's sort of like the outside garden area. If we go to the right, it's like another outside garden area. So I'm gonna try, try to go to the left. I sort of wanna make my way back to the Gryffindor house. That would be fun. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see for ourselves. Actually, no, this is the defense against the dark arts. So I guess, no, I was going the wrong way. I need to go in that one pathway right down here. Yep, sorry about that. Barred right past it. I think this leads back to the Gryffindor thing, but it might not, it also just leads here. Okay, so I might be wrong. Anyways, it looks like there's plenty to do in this area. This is a sort of Hogwarts. I don't think it has any kind of like different description. There is a student in peril up there. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna help him very much, but that's what I'm doing. Uh, can I just shoot him down? I can make a little staircase out of the books. There you go, buddy. I mean, I guess I can use that to get up to you and help you down. Well, look at that, another student in peril, saved. Very cool. Okay, so with that done, plenty of more things still to beat up, like this guy. He didn't like it very much, but doesn't give me anything, so I probably won't do that too much. Uh, two out of nine, and then we got, no, no. Three out of nine. How do I get this green lock? It probably needs a green key. Oh, there's some books I can stack up, maybe. Whoa, whoa, that was quick. Yeah, that is a very weird area, because usually, I don't know. Hmm. We'll just have to keep looking around. We got some different plants we can mess with. I got some of that. There's like a floating candle or something. What is this? One out of six for the floating candle. And I remember this area. This is for something else, but all the uh, different uh, school students are here. So all the, uh, I forgot what they're called, Durmstrang and, uh, oh man, I forget it right now. Oh well, oh we got this. Ridiculous, boom, it didn't work. This time it worked, right? Yeah, and there's two more candles we can zap. That got us the key for that one room. Okay, that's cool. I wanna do that right now. Excuse me, everybody, we got places to be. We all do. There we go, so that's gonna open up. I'm gonna leave that be for now because we got plenty of other things to do and to go and all that kind of stuff. That's three out of six, so there's more of those to find. And I guess, that, yeah, that was a puzzle I already solved. But this thing right here, I think, is its own thing. Got it. Whoa, lots of golden bricks here. Maybe this will make a golden brick or it'll make whatever this is. It's a cauldron, well, that's gonna be very helpful. Thank you very much for that. Oh, we got another one right up here. That is four out of six. Six out of nine for that. I got a bunch of books I can mess with. Nothing too fancy, but glad I got it done. The problem now, I don't really see too many more floating candles or, oh, I see one right here over this guy. There has to be more. I've already done that one. Can I beat this candle up? I guess not. Maybe I should look for one at a time, because it's gonna get me confused. Where are the other torches? Because it seems like I've messed with all the torches. Got it, yeah. So unless there's something like obvious I'm missing. No, not you. You guys are so much in the way. Go back to your own school for right now, I'm busy. Uh, Yeah, I got it, I thought so, because the flames aren't too crazy on it. I mean, maybe it does extend to other rooms, but that's usually very uncommon for these things, and these torches are not Lego torches. Doesn't really apply. No, 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 be gone. Yep, these are all done, and same thing with the candles. I don't see any other candles I can shoot at. So I'm gonna assume that that's all we can do. All right, well I can explore some other areas. Maybe first we'll go into this room we just unlocked, just sort of poke in, see what this is. I'm really not sure. Uh, hmm. This will be interesting. It is the library, ooh. So let's interact with this. See, that doesn't add to it. So definitely doesn't extend out into this room, but there's plenty to do in the library. I'm sure of it. Can't blast those. I <laughs> just got some characters just doing random things, like going on their hands, doing little handstands. I can hit this. Whoa. What is that? It's a window, there's a bat. Watch out. Oh, that has a cherry and fruit. There's a cherry, apple, 
Banana. Cherry is also a fruit, by the way. Um, what can I do with the banana? I can do something with it, that's for sure. Who wants the banana? Oh, this potion wants the banana. I don't remember what potion, is that the aging potion? I don't think so. That might be a new potion. What will this one have for us? It'll have a book. Speaking of books, let's do that with these ones. We reorder them. I can attack these books. Didn't really do too much. Oh, there's a torch. It is, oh, it's lighting all of that up? I guess so. Um, well, that's good. What about this guy? Oh, oh, watch out. Oh no, he's on fire, run away. Not in the library, you're gonna burn the whole thing down. Oh, he's running over here. Hop on in. Ah. Oh, and he's watering the plants. Look at that, and there's another piece of the potion we need. We'll do that momentarily. But for right now, there's more things to attack and mess with, like these little things, whatever they're supposed to be. Can't really interact with those books at all, but I can get you, and you'll just sort of do that. And I do see, is this gonna lead to another new room? It might. Open it up. Whoa, 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 bunch of pieces, but can I go in? No, good to know. And this has a jukebox. That's cool, even if it doesn't get anything worthwhile accomplished. Oh, there's a skeleton, hey buddy. <laughs> Where did you come from? I don't know, oh, there's more of them. Oh, here we go, it did get a character. It got me Ravenclaw Girl, unlocked. Very cool, just more and more skeletons. They love the song. So this is probably gonna be another scary, uh, cause it usually is, or maybe it's not. Thought it was gonna be another thing. It's gonna be a snake. And then there's also some goggles we can put on or something. Let's get this, and then I'll finish the potion in a moment once I'm actually over to that area. Can attack this big stack of books, <laughs> just mess them up, go everywhere. Oh, I can make it so that you can read that book. And you give us this piece of Hogwarts thingamajig. Let's just go into there. It is like an old person thing. I can go in here, can I? Oh, okay, I'll explore this in a moment. I guess this is the restricted section of the library. Has to be what it is. Okay, so that's what that potion does. Luckily, we don't need it. Whoa, it's swaying back and forth. Be careful. Also knock over all these dominoes. Oh, and now we can send a mag up. <laughs> I love doing that. Anything else over here of interest? And we can smack another set of books. I do see, oh, a secret character. That is very cool. It did not work. Okay, well I'll deal with it in just a moment. I know this is gonna be the aging potion. I'm not actually gonna bother doing it. Maybe if I get on, oh, whoa, whoa, there we go. Susan Bones. I don't remember her, but that's okay. I don't need to remember every character to unlock them all, that's for sure. So we are all good, we can switch back over to Hagrid. I like how Snape's not allowed because he doesn't have a beard, uh, but Hagrid does, because he's cool. Cooler than Snape, that's for sure. Um, and what can we do here? Oh, I remember this part. Yeah, okay, this was actually sort of a part of the story mode as well. Oh man, we got a ghost. He's like, you're not supposed to be here. What do I do with you? Do I just blast you? Uh, I guess so, goodbye. That, I guess that made his soul rust easy. He's fine now. So there is one of these. I'm actually gonna do this because we don't have Madame Pomfrey at the moment. It'd be a pain to go back and get her. So I got that going on. The earmuffs. Hagrid, could you raise me up? Oh, apparently not. Oh, also, hold on. I can't do this for right now, I'll do it in a moment. It looks like there's like another torch you can mess with. I don't know if it'll actually be a counter. Um, whoa, big spider. What are you doing? That really didn't do too much for me except for, okay, there was actually a couple of things. Is this a spooky thing? No, that's an actual Dementor in the books. Okay, and there's more, a wasp. There's just a whole bunch of evil things in this bookcase. And that got me another secret character this time around. It is going to be the Red Wizard. We've seen him in quite a lot of photos. And now he's here for real. How cool is that? Anything of interest with all of this? There's some stuff. And then more importantly, we can do a bit of this. Thank you very much. And we get another book which we can smack and that'll be two out of three. Right, yep, two out of three. I do hear a student in peril. 
And I also see a red brick. Okay, so I guess I gotta put this in somewhere in the same order as those, right? I'm not sure, it's not really fitting anywhere. I think, oh, maybe in between here? This is very odd. Oh, oh, there we go, that worked. I guess I just gotta put it in with its other colors. So I got a red one there and a green one here. And that's a red brick for me. Uh, thank you very much. I will happily grab that. We gotta find the owl though. I haven't seen him. I might have seen him and then like mentally ignored him knowing that I don't quite have the red brick yet. There's one of the mandrakes, so we know that we can help you. Oh no, here it is. We definitely haven't gone past this. And I wonder what that red brick will be. We'll be cashing in all of our red bricks at the end of today's episode. We got the red brick detector. That's really cool, so we'll know when there's a red brick in the area. That kind of stuff is so helpful. I'm glad that we're getting that. And we also got the uh, the character detector. Like That kind of stuff is so important. I'm glad that we're getting it. Because if I miss something, I still may be able to know it's there just because the detector is going off, you know? And that'll definitely improve its usefulness very quickly. Anyways, what's going on in here? We have moon, hat, stars, potion. Got a bit of a zigzag then, right? Or I guess like a crisscross. And that made a bunch of stuff so that we can get up this way. Maybe. Oh, I can ride this around. Oh, it's gonna make the books angry. How dare you ride the book stand? That is for us and only us. So I guess I gotta ride over all these guys. I'm still looking for the third hat as well. See ya. Oh, this is fun. Actually, I really like this. Whoa. Whoa, watch out. <laughs> this thing doesn't have any hydraulics on it. Ah! I don't think Hermione has her license yet either, so. It's very important that before you drive a book cart that you get your book cart driving license. Don't wanna get a ticket. There we go. Uh, it's it's a new character, that's cool. Um, excuse me, hold on. I'm riding this thing for the rest of the game. Whoa. I love how weird and loopy it is. Alicia Spinett. I don't quite remember her. Is she a part of the, the, the Quidditch team, I guess? So there has to be a way up there. I've not quite found that yet. Um, I'm actually getting a tad bit confused about that. What do we do to get over there? I'd thought it was gonna be what we're gonna build there, but clearly not. So what do we do to get up there, huh? I can't like do kind of, any kind of like impressive jump or anything. Can I just jump on top of this and jump off of it? Would that actually be the practical solution? Sorry guys. It may be. Ah, it doesn't seem like it though. Yeah, not really. I mean, I can do that. <laughs> Don't know if that's also worth it. That clearly isn't what I'm supposed to do, though. Weird, isn't it? Well, we're driving off the walls now. Okay, watch it, we're doing flips, tricks, all that sorts of stuff. Can't quite get up there either. Oh, I can build these. Oh, maybe I can use this to bounce? No, it's just books. What do I do? Have I tried going in here? Yes, have I tried going in here? Ah, <laughs> too many books. It has to be like something around here where maybe I can go across. Also, I haven't messed with this. Not much. Weird, isn't it? How do I get over there? Has to be a way. Oh, here we go. Ah, look at this. That's certainly something. And then with, oh, and that's gonna make a thing. Okay, very good. Glad that we have Hermione. It'd be cool if like Hagrid could call Fang over. I knew that Fang is his own character as well, but it would be very useful. Anyways. It doesn't really matter who climbs up. I just need somebody to climb up. Actually, I need to be Hermione. Does she still have, oh, she doesn't have her earphones anymore, right? Yeah, why did she get rid of those? <laughs> when did that happen? I don't know. We'll go ahead and get these back just by getting up here, boing, grabbing those, hop on in, you got it. And let's see what we can do over this way. Hopefully something good. I mean, I should be able to pick this thing up. I don't know where I'm putting it. Oh, just right here. Okay, nothing too fancy. But, and then there's also the third uh, hat. So student in peril, saved. You're welcome, sir. And then boom, we also get this thing flying off. I don't know where that went. Right over this way. Oh, it's a golden brick, actually. Really? That was cool. I will gladly take a golden brick because we have quite a lot of these we still need to collect. And that is gold bricks, 128 out of 200. Excited to hit 130. Hopefully we can do that before the end of today's episode. I think that's everything for this room. It looks mighty completed to me. 
the chances are we're gonna have to get all these red bricks that help us detect other things and then run through the entire Hogwarts castle again if we end up missing something that is. If not, then hopefully we'll be fine. Anyways, yeah, this area seems like very cleared out to me. The only thing is this main area again. Remember that I'm still missing two candles and some other stuff around here and that is just all kinds of confusing to me. Because I just don't see much more. But I guess we could figure it out by just keep moving around. Um, what's going on in here? What, what room is this? This is the grand staircase. This actually does lead back. Gotcha. So I could explore this a little bit because it is a little bit of a dead end. I don't know how much more I want to do in today's episode since we are running a bit out of time. What did that do? They're just opening things up. What are, uh, I don't know what's inside of those. This is moving too fast. But I did it all. Okay. This ghost is clapping for me. I guess I've done everything there is to do with that. I can attack you. What did that do? Whoa. Uh, thanks. Do I have to throw it back at you? I don't know, just characters just throw random stuff at me. Okay. Um. I don't know if that accomplished much. I gotta be honest, a lot of that seemed to accomplish nothing. <laughs> so I might be finished up with that just because, you know, I've played for about 40 minutes. That so seems to be about my time frame for this. But I will just poke my head up here, right? Like, what was going on down this way? I forgot. I don't know where this leads. This is, oh, back into the, the other main Hogwarts hall. There's so many main Hogwarts halls. There's just, it's too much stuff, man. Too much stuff. I'm just trying to get a good layout of the entire school now. And now with that done, I can also just check on things up this way. And this is its own thing as well, right? Oh no, oh no, this is like an extension to the previous area for some reason. Unexplainably, because usually that's not how that works. But in this area specifically, that's how that works. And we got one out of three, two out of three for that. These little wall things. I think there was another one over this way, but I do need Reducto, which luckily, I have. There we go. And this looks like it leads off to another room. But we do get another character, it's Madame Pince. I don't remember her either, what do you know? So I need to interact with this one, right? No, I did it. How many more do I have to do? I'm not exactly sure. I'm also looking around for the candles out. Hoping I find those. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is the last one, it has to be. So I have to find those other candles somewhere. And this is why it's a good reason to just explode everything everywhere. But that gives me another in character. It is Doris Crockford. I don't remember her either. And there's more stuff out here. But this is sort of its own thing. I'm just gonna quickly glance to see if there's any candles floating around. It doesn't look like it. So we have so much more to explore. I wanna continue with that in the next episode. But for right now, I'm exiting this level. We will go to the Leaky Cauldron, on the Diagon Alley, um, and buy all the costumes, and then we'll be done for today's episode. Alrighty, so what's going on in here? I like how the very first slot is still locked for us. I don't know what that's gonna be, but I'm excited to see. Anyways, we need to just get as many characters as possible. I don't know how many there are. I think we found like five or six different characters, so I feel like that's a good chunk of percentage. Professor Flitwick, mad -Eye Moody, there's two, three, because I unlocked all the characters last episode, so everything I find now means that that's something we got this episode. So there was three characters, four, oh, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Four characters, maybe even more. And maybe closer to like 10 characters unlocked. We'll have to find out once I go through all this. It does take a while, I'm so sorry it does. I wish there was a faster way to do it. Five. Very cool. Oh, six. And then over this way, maybe there's more. We're getting there though. I think we're more than halfway through. Um. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Seven. Yeah, that was the most recent character we just got. Uh, oh, here we go. Boy and girl, eight and nine and ten. That might have been everybody. I have a feeling it might have been. We had 10 characters unlocked in today's episode. Along with that, some gold bricks, some red bricks. We're actually gonna go and get the red bricks now. But that definitely upped their percentage a little bit. Everything we do in this game will. That's always cool. So going back up this way, I definitely wanna activate those new red bricks because they're gonna be super duper useful. 
So all the spinning ones we've gotten. So the character token detector will be huge. The extra hearts, I didn't realize. Oh yeah, that's right, because we got three red bricks in today's episode and the red brick detector. I'm gonna activate all three of those right now. But as you can see, percentage wise, we are now 70.8% through the game. We're really starting to get there. I mean, I think we only made about 1% progress in today's episode though, yeesh. It's just, it's so much, it's so very much. Anyways, um, so red bird detector on, extra hearts on, so we have seven hearts instead of four, or six hearts instead of four, okay. Um, and character token detector on. So now if we walk around, you can see it has that blinking dot. That means that there is you know, something to find probably outside of this room, but there's also maybe something inside of the room. It's a bit in specific. So I don't think it actually like points it out like, hey, you know, there's something exactly right here. I think it's more like there's something to your left or to your right. Okay, well that's at least good to keep in mind, I suppose. Like it's not anything into here, but if I go through here, it's telling me to go where exactly? Who knows, it's a bit bonkers, that's for sure. I guess there's maybe some stuff in this room specifically. Well, that's very cool. We're gonna continue exploring more of Hogwarts in the next episode of Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra Brick, so now you've watched at the end of the URA, Zebra-tastic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye bye.